Hello. I'll cover some of the high points for the Chapter 2 Expo. Please do the simulation and the practice within it for things you may not understand. And go into the e-text right below the Tech in Action or Google or use YouTube as necessary for the rest of the information. Once you create the file name for this, the first thing it asks for is a name range for cells, which may be something you have never used before. So it says to make a range for A18 through C20. So you will highlight from A18 through C20. Then after you do that, you come up here to the uh, name box. And instead of it telling you where, what cell you're in, go ahead and check added membership. This will create an automatic table for you that I'll always refer to here. Then it says insert the function to enter the current date in cell B2. This right here, this one you should already know, equal today. Open and close. Okay, so for the next thing, it asks to insert a, a lookup function to display the basic annual membership cost for the first client. In other words, for Andrew, he's got a deluxe membership, and we need to know what that costs. We'll pull that information out of here. So in this case, we will use a VLOOKUP function equals VLOOKUP, and you open parentheses. As you can see here, the first one is the lookup value. What's going to tell you uh, what the answer is going to be? So in this case, it's this location right here. So I'm going to click on Deluxe, comma. Okay, the next one is a table array, and we just named that membership, comma. And the third item is the index, the column index number. So within this table, this is the first column, second column, and the third column, and we want the cost, so we need to pull that information out of the second column, so we'll say two. For those of you who's programmed before, you may remember that in any kind of index or on a database, the first column is, is a zero, but in Excel, it's a little bit different. Just remember the first column is one, second column is two, and the third column is three. So when you're using the, the same thing for the down payment uh, column, make sure you put in three. So now I'm up here, I'll hit enter. So it says 575. For deluxe, that looks good. I'm going to copy that formula down for the relative copy. And then for individual, it's 300. And for family, it's 1,500. So that looks pretty good. OK, so for the next thing, it's asking for the annual cost. So the annual cost is what? It's the cost of the membership plus whether you have a locker or not. The locker cost is way down here. OK, so. This will have to be a if statement. And what they're asking you to do is to, uh, if it's yes, then uh, display the cost with the lockers. And if it's no or anything else, display just the locker cost. So this will again be the review of something we did before equals if, open parentheses. So the first thing is the, con the, the logical test of the condition. So the condition is whether this block is yes or no. But in reality, all it is, is is a check to see if it's yes or if it's anything else. So if this location equals yes in parentheses, uh, comma, then you put in what is true. If that is true, then the cost is the cost of the membership plus the cost of the locker. then that's the true, then the false would be just the cost of the locker. And then you close it, enter. So it's 650. So the cost of, since it's a yes for the locker, it's the cost of the membership plus the cost of the locker. Now, let's copy this down and see if that works. We copied it down and it, it kind of looks a little messed up, especially down here for the individual, the locker cost is, uh, is a yes, so it should have included that, but it did not. 
So why is that? So again, remember, in case of a relative copy, we're copying down, so the cost of here will go down. But we wanted to uh, look right at here for the actual cost. So the problem here is instead of B22, we need this to be dollar sign B, dollar sign 22. Now, on a computer, it's very easy, and all you have to do is hit an F4, and that'll add the dollar sign. But on a, if you're doing this on a laptop, just remember, in order to activate the F uh, function key, you'll have to push the F function key on the keyboard also. So now that we've made our change here, it seems to work a little better. Now for the individual with, with the locker, yes, we have the 375, okay? Now for the total due, all you really have to do is multiply this times this, and then it's a straight formula. So we won't go over that right now. Okay, for the last thing we'll cover is the down payment. So again, this will be a what? If we're looking for the down payment here instead of the cost now, based on the membership. Okay, so again, this will be a VLOOKUP uh, function. So it'll be equal. The lookup, open prints. And then again, we're going to look at the type of membership comma, and then for the uh, table array it is membership, comma. But this time, since we want the down payment amount, we're looking at the third column. So the column number would be three. Okay, so the down payment for a deluxe membership is 250. That looks good. Let's copy this down, see what it looks like. This seems to be working. Okay, so there are other things you have to do. There is at least one circular reference that you need to correct. And what does a circular reference mean? It means that in whatever block that you have the formula, say like if I'm in H5 right now and put in a formula, it should never say H5 because that's a circular reference. You're looking upon yourself. So keep that in mind and please figure out the rest. And, and again, Look in the e-text right underneath the tech in action on your uh, My IT Lab, or you have the option of going, Googling it and looking up the answer, or you can also use YouTube and let's get practice on that too. Okay, thank you.